Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the sea, the ATL Don, check it in, and you're watching Fitted Fiend. Cause my sweat turned off right now, get friend looks going to turn off, talking and talk, but it ain't about much, hey no mess cause the sweat turned off. This week on Fitted Fiend, we have another specialty pickup. Uh, I got this from Lids and Lenox Mall, well, for those that aren't from Atlanta, it's technically called Lenox Square Mall. But uh, I had to go out there to pick it up due to the stores outside of Atlanta. I just didn't have it in stock for some reason. Uh, it's not the first time I've ran into this issue with a Brave Specialty hat. So um, unlike last year, they used the ProLite 5950 uh, technology. They evidently are getting away from that. I did a video on the 2019 spring training hat, which is made the same way the St. Patrick's Day hat is that you're about to see. Um, I reached out to New Era and they responded back to me and said that I had no plans in the future to make um, the, the Pro-Life 5950s anymore. So I thought this was going to be Diamond Era just from the pictures, but they told me that this is going to be called Hex Tech. So um, I see a lot of other YouTubers are calling it Diamond Era, which is um, untrue. It is very similar. I see where the um, mistake can be made or people still calling it that but it's technically called hex tech if i remember on the end screen of the video i'll include the spring training uh hat video so you can see the email that new era sent to me in response to the them doing away with a pro light a lot of people didn't like the pro light they complained the logos are peeling off and all that stuff i never personally had that issue but evidently it is happening maybe it's certain teams hats the logos just didn't cooperate and stick on since they were like the heat pressed on logos. So I went and got this, picked it up. Big fan of this. This one, especially over last year's. It was uh, $40. Got $8 off from my 20% membership. Now, they really hit me with a tax. And, and the heart of Atlanta sales tax is like right at nine cents um, um, per dollar. So it's like 8.9% to be exact. So it came out to 35.17. So I think it's a very clean looking hat. Got the green bill, white dome, old school Atlanta Braves A done in green. Uh, got the green button on top. Uh, one of the different things they haven't done in the past on the eyelets of the hat. This one over here, they got the shamrock in place of the eyelet on this side. Cool little touch. Got the new era flag done in green. On the back on the MLB logo, it's done in green and white, but instead of the baseball, they have the shamrock once again. Very, very nice. Gray underbill. Big fan of that. Got the gray sweatband, just like the spring training hat, the sizing and the authentic collection is screen printed in instead of being sewn in tags, but they do have the tag here in the center. Very, very nice. As you see, I'm representing, got my Atlanta Braves St. Patrick's Day shirt on with the hat to match. Want to wish everybody happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I brought some of my other St. Patrick's Day hats just to share. All right, this was last year's. This is the Pro Light. As you see, I never wore it. And for those that follow me, know I don't leave the 5950 stickers on once I start wearing a hat. Just never been a fan of that. Uh, I I like this hat. Um, the spring training version, and no, the BP version of the Pro Light. I, I wore quite a few times at spring training. Never had no issue. You know, really like like the material. Uh, you know, they got the rubberized logo on the front of it. The New Era logos rubberized as well. Same thing on the MOB logo on this. I got the baseball replaced with the shamrock. Uh, gray underbill. Gray sweatband. Sizing 758s in the authentic collection. The string printed in. We got the New Era there. Ta um, tag sewn in. Then I skipped the 2017 because I just wasn't feeling the um, colorway. It looked a lot like the 2016 version, but it had a darker green bill, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I just wasn't feeling it. So this is the 2016 version. This was the last year of them not doing the um, 
before they started including the new era flag on the side for on-field fitteds. So this one is Diamond Era. And uh, once again, the old school Atlanta Braves A, outlined in white. Once again, no new era logo. The MLB logo, once again, has a shamrock in place of the baseball. You know, real faintly, they have a ghost image of a shamrock on this side. Got the gray underbill. This one has a black sweatband. All the tagging is sewn in. 758, New Era, and the Authentic Collection. So, those are the only three St. Patrick's Day hats in my collection. So, you got the 2016, 2018, and 2019 version of that. The hat I have on is not technically a St. Patrick's Day hat. It's just a regular brace fitted that just happens to be green. So, I'll put the link down below for the 2019 version from Lids. I'm going to check that out. I have another hat that's not St. Patrick's Day related, but I didn't feel it was worth doing a video by itself. Picked this up on Liz.com and had it shipped to store. Um, for those that follow the channel, I recently got the Straight Fire Camo um, Chicago Bulls Scotty Pippen the black and the um, camo jersey with the shorts and I bought a camo bulls hat to go with it but um, I was wanting to have an alternative so I picked up this black version um, very simple very basic black with the white bulls logo it says here 25 was marked down to but it is actually they had an, another special going so uh, it was 15 then with my 20% off knocked it down to 12 bucks, then you add the sales tax. I got this for 12.72 as one hell of a steal. Normally it was 34.99, so way below half price. Uh, New Era logo done in white, NBA logo done in white, black underbill, uh, size tagging 758s, New Era, NBA. So nice little pickup. Once again, didn't feel that it was worthy of its own video. Probably would only been like a two minute video. But so I hope everybody enjoyed uh, today's video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trends and limited merch in the description. Till next time, it's your boy Infamous C, the ATL Don sign out. Peace.